Okay, so let's put this Okay. Before we start, let's put on some. Um, these, I've got my work light on. I might soften the lighting a bit. Okay, actually, I'm going to ask if people could mute themselves if that's all right. Yes. There will be parts where you'll be coming in. Um, uh, but just just for the purpose of the recording but welcome 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 i'm so excited to have you here if you heard me just at the beginning then it's really great to connect with old friends who i met at the <laughs> the original health and well-being cafe as well so welcome here it's an online event and uh the format is designed to provide you with knowledge and give you an opportunity to network so that you can empower yourself okay so there's just some etiquette can everybody or you can't hear me now actually but i'm hoping not hear me i can't hear you rather i'm hoping that uh, you can see the screen okay um, as I said before, tonight's presentation will be recorded. So if you switch off your video screen, when this presentation comes off, your image won't be captured on the footage. Please, could you keep your microphone on mute? But there will be time for you to ask questions and we will have a bit of a discussion and I've got a quiz as well. So I wanna hear your giggles and we can have some fun on the call tonight. Um, and if you want to use the chat function, you can do it any time to ask any questions and Gemma will be reading those uh, questions and she will be letting me know that there's questions there. We're going to be on the call uh, until about half past nine. Obviously, I'd love for you to stay with us right till the end. But of course, if you need to go at any time, just um, obviously leave the session. And as I've said, it will be recorded so you can always catch up on any part that you may miss. All right, so greetings. My name's Vanessa. Um, I'm a lifestyle coach and I've been helping busy women, especially mums, to improve and maintain your health and wellness through mindset development, nutrition, fitness, coaching. And I've been doing this part time for about five years now. And things have changed in my life during that time, but you'll hear about that shortly. So I want to introduce my co-host, Gemma Ballon, who's a wellness coach. Would you like to introduce yourself, Gemma? Hello, I'm Gemma. Um, I began as a wellness coach in April this year. Um, I met Vanessa around 18 months ago at a baby group. Um, and then I began my healthy active lifestyle journey around 15 months ago um, and after fantastic results for myself and my husband um, then I, I um, wanted, decided to work with Vanessa to be a wellness coach um, and I love that I've been able to help ladies both physically and emotionally um, with their overall well-being. Fantastic. Thank you, Gemma. So Gemma will be presenting some of tonight's session as well. Uh, so it's going to be a joint effort. So I just wanted to find out your expectations. So at this point in the call, you can unmute yourself. I have just given you some um, pointers. So if there's anything that resonates with you on the screen, then please share that. Or if there was something else, then it'd be great just to hear from you so that I can gauge the call and make sure that I, I stay on track with what you've come here this evening for. So it'd be great to hear from you. I'll go. <laughs> Hi, Karina. <laughs> um, so for me, the main reason is because I used to come to this group when it was held in person um, before COVID. And so just wanted to see Vanessa again and other regular members of the group and obviously meet any new ones that come. Um, and also that I thought that the topic of uh, the speaker tonight sounded really interesting. So and to me. Hello. thank you, Karina. And obviously you've, you've brought joy to my heart this evening because I didn't know you were going to be on the call, but that reconnection's already sparked. Uh, the joy for me so it's great to have you here with us anybody else who, who would like to tell tell us uh, what's 
motivated you to join us this evening? Hello? <laughs> Okay, maybe they're, maybe they're a little bit shy. Don't worry. Oh, I'm um, not shy. Oh, no, you're not shy. Hi, Emily. We have met last week, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hi there. Hi. And this is my friend, Cecilia. Oh, hi, Cecilia. <laughs> um, yes, I, well, apart from being a lovely welcome break from all the other things that we're on Zoom for, you know, it's lovely to connect with like-minded, beautiful people and just talk about health and well-being and just lovely stuff <laughs> oh bless you well thank hope you for letting us we're we're east sussex so we we can't join you in person at any time soon but yeah nice to well, connect yeah welcome and i think that's the beauty i mean as you heard from Karina, I did do a live event and you're going to see some slides shortly. Um, but when I thought about bringing this event back, I knew I had to bring it back online. And I thought, actually, it gives me an opportunity to meet new people. So I'm very, very pleased to be connected with you, Emily. Cool. And, and I'll, turn, I'll turn the video off if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Right. Thanks. And anybody else that would like to just share some thoughts as to why you've decided to come on the call this evening. Hi, I'm Jo. Hi, um, jo. Um, I just happened to check my emails this evening and saw that um, this was a meetup thing that, and I have no recollection whatsoever. It's many, many, probably over a year ago that I joined anything on meetups. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> just wasn't expecting this to even come up and just thought, um, but I am into like health and well-being. Um, I've got a chronic illness, so um, health and well-being is really important to me. I grow my own vegetables. I have chickens. Um, I have um, various therapists that come to my home and carers and things like that. So uh, I'm very interested in because there's, no, there's nothing um, the pharmacist can give me my condition so it's all based and i have made improvement based on you know holistic therapies and things like that um so and um being under a nutritionist as well oh that's fantastic joe well, um, welcome yeah I just, so i just thought oh I, I, but i i didn't see anything where it said who the speaker is tonight so i'm completely in the dark okay. where that's concerned no. i did read the comments on different things but i didn't see anything about speak what the speaker was Okay, well, that's coming up. I think that's going to be part of my next slide. I'm just going to move on, unless there's anybody else that wanted to to share some thoughts. Yeah, okay. So before I tell you about tonight, I just want to give you a bit of history. I, I wasn't able to showcase all of the photographs, but I will showcase them as we move forward on an online format. I um, originally started the Health and Wellbeing Cafe in 2018. Um, I had a range of guest speakers that came on every month covering a range of topics for health and wellbeing, coaching, fashion, beauty. Um, we had a lot of fun um, and it was an event whereby you'll see at the bottom people were actually able to sample the nutrition nutritional products that I distribute as an independent distributor for Herbalife uh, Nutrition. So it was a mixed bag and we were doing so much things together. Friendships were formed out of that. As Karina said, you know, it gave people a chance to keep building on those friendships because they were seeing each other month after month. Um, but we are online now, so the format's going to be different. I can't do the sampling with you, unfortunately but we're still going to have the format as the get of the guest speaker um, i'm going to have a range of speakers coming forward and also i'm going to be talking to you about nutrition education but it will be based on different aspects of nutrition so in terms of tonight personal development is something that i've always weaved in to the health and well-being cafe and just a little bit of a slight uh, change of name. So Karina would have noticed I'm now calling it the Global Health and Wellbeing Cafe because as I move forward in an online format, 
I know that we will be able to reach people from across the world. Uh, so we've already heard from Emily that she's located in a different city from where I am. So the name has changed, but personal development is something that I'm passionate about. I'm going to tell you a little bit of my own transformation and Gemma will talk to you about her transformation as well. Then we'll introduce the health hacks. We won't have time to do all of them. We're only going to look at one of them tonight. You'll have a short five minute break. And after the break, you'll hear from the guest speaker, Susie Wellstead, who's an emotional well-being coach. And she will be talking to us this evening about emotional acceptance and how we can manage our stress and anxiety, which during these times, I'm sure a lot of people either on the call this evening or listening to the recording will benefit from Susie's guidance and the tips that she will give us. After Susie's session, we will have a little bit of fun with a small quiz that I've put together. Then I'm going to tell you about one of the products that I distribute and Gemma distributes as well and how you could get started with us if you would like to work with us as wellness coaches. Then there will be an opportunity for you to network. OK, it's an online networking, but it will basically be, you know, turn your mic off and have a chat uh, before we close. And like I said, we're aiming to close at around half past nine. So to start, this is the personal development section and self-awareness is something that I'd really love for you to think about. Um, obviously, this year we've all been put in a situation that we didn't plan to be in and many of us have had an opportunity to look back at our lives and other aspects of our lives. And self-awareness is fantastic because it will give you an opportunity to identify your feelings and your thoughts and your behaviours. And if you're in a position where you're maybe um, working with a smaller group of people than you normally would, or if you live with other people, if you have a family and you find yourself more or less surrounded by the same group of people 24 seven, like myself, I'm now working at home in my kitchen. I think being aware of your behavior is a really important thing because you know we will have an impact on others and it is quite a stressful time so i think if we are aware of how our behavior could impact on other people it just gives us all an opportunity to get through this as peacefully and as loving as we can so when you're self-aware um you will be able to monitor yourself and create a more pur purposeful life and this really comes to different aspects of your life so whatever you've planned for yourself there may be aspects of uh, your personality or some of your habits that you've got that may be preventing you from reaching the goals that you've intended to reach oops so when it comes to self-awareness, there are benefits. You can become more proactive if you're self-aware, and this is going to boost your acceptance of how you're doing in life. And it will give you encouragement as you see yourself developing. When you become self-aware, it will help you to make better decisions. So this could be on different aspects of your life. But again, if you're aware of your thoughts and your feelings and your habits, you will be able to adjust things and make better decisions moving forward. And if you're in a work environment, even if you are working on your own in your home, communication in the workplace has changed in the modern day and during these times. So again, if we are self-aware, it will help us to improve our communication which if you can communicate uh, effectively with others and you are getting a positive response back, that's going to enhance your self-confidence. And ultimately you will be in a better mood and we all want to have that feeling of being in a good place, you know, that happy place. Um, I've spoken to some of the mums that I was working with at the beginning of the year 
about the different aspects of where we are in our emotions and joy and happiness from a vibrational perspective of very high frequencies and that's really where you want to put yourself on an on an emotional scale so questions that you could ask yourself and again i don't know if any of you are doing any journaling or anything like that but i find myself that if i intentionally purchase um i would say not an overly expensive notebook but i like to purchase something that looks pretty it's cost me some money and it's going to make me want to write in there uh, journaling is a really good way of expressing yourself and getting that self-awareness really on the move and here's three questions that you could ask yourself what am i good at what things do i value in my life and what is my definition of success so the success could be around your health your work your family your friendships general relationships that you have in your life and financial abundance so there's just some ideas on self-awareness so moving on i'm just going to talk to you about my own journey in terms of my transformation um, the photograph that you can see was taken about a year after I met my partner, Mark. And I'd actually come from a place where things hadn't really gone that well for me in terms of my aspirations. I set up a business that started off really well, but then because of the, uh, the recession that happened, um, I think that was around 2008, uh, yeah, 2008, um, by the time I got to 2011, I was struggling and hanging on for dear life. So I wasn't eating properly or regularly. I certainly didn't have breakfast. Um, and my ch older children were teenagers and we were eating far too many takeaways. And mummy, I suppose, was just peddling to stay afloat financially. And I wasn't really looking after myself, but I did exercise. So at that point, I was uh, doing um, cycling, I was doing regular salsa dancing, and I was in a netball team. So it wasn't really the exercise that I was lacking, it was my lack of understanding about nutrition. So moving on, I mean, I've actually had uh, another child <laughs> uh, in 2019 so early 2019 even though I got the momentum going for the health and well-being cafe I had to take a maternity break because I, I had my third child my little baby boy um, I did continue to take my nutrition and have energy even though I'm an older mother I mean, you know, my, I've sailed through my pregnancy. There wasn't any problems. Uh, you know, we had a lovely pregnancy and everything like that. Um, then obviously after I did gain some baby weight, you know, so I didn't escape not having any baby weight on me. But after um, having my baby, I carried on with my healthy lifestyle. I kept up with my nutrition kept up with my exercise and more importantly over all this time my mindset development has really been there because personal development is something that i've really taken on board and i've seen it as something that's gone hand in hand with starting to take care of my body it made me really think more about who I am and what I wanted out of life. And obviously being a healthy mother, and especially now that I've got a younger child, you know, it's really important that I live a healthy, active lifestyle so that I can um, be an energetic mom moving forward. So Jamma, did you want to tell us about your transformation? You told us um, <clears throat> about the journey that we've been on together and how we met after i've uh, had center but do you just just want to tell us a bit about your transformation please yeah um so when i met vanessa um i i my 
second daughter was about 18 months I think um, I was probably about a size 14 then um, the biggest size I've ever been is I think a 16 um, I've always struggled with my mental health over the years um, I never paid much attention to my physical health um, so I had two children um, and after both pregnancies I actually put on more weight afterwards with breastfeeding <laughs> um so i'm just checking my notes um so i never i've never really exercised i used to i've always like been active walking places but i would only walk places um where i was going to a, a destination and it was normally quite local um my daily diet um previous to meeting vanessa consisted of only drinking cups of tea all day long um and having two sugars in every cup so that's a lot of sugar throughout the day i didn't used to drink water unless it was a really hot day or i was really thirsty um and i used to eat a lot of processed foods as well um and for four children um i lived on my own and i used to eat a lot of, of like microwave meals and I've, I've, my nutrition's never been um very good um and looking back my mindset was that before i had children i'd always been slim even though i didn't eat very well i was i was slim um and i lacked education on nutrition and the healthy lifestyle but after meeting vanessa with educational advice from her um i realized i realized that making small changes to nutrition um, and lifestyle could benefit my mental health as well, which was really important to me. Um, so I began my journey um, of a healthy lifestyle in July 2019, last year. Um, I've lost, I think in total, I've lost about two stone um, since, since July last year. Um, Yeah, I think it's about two stone. I've, I've been on, um, my journey has changed because um, around February, February to April time this year, um, I felt like I was getting too skinny, like I, I, reached, I reached my target and then I felt like I'm, I reached my limit. So then me and Vanessa had a conversation and then we changed my nutrition so that I would um, be able to um, gain more more muscle and maintain um, the stage that I was at. So the education from nutrition and the coaching has really helped me to monitor my journey over a long period of time. Um, my metabolic age um, it started when I started my journey. I was thirty four years old. My metabolic age was 49 years old, which was, I thought was terrible. <laughs> um, but um, along my journey since then, I did get my metabolic age down to 20, which was amazing. Um, and now it's more, I think it's around 31 at the moment, which is really good because I'm 35. So it's, it's, I'm in a really good range. Um, so I gradually changed what I was eating and started eating eating two protein-based snacks a day alongside my three meals. Um, instead of eating sugary snacks when I was hungry, I would eat the protein-based snacks instead. And then I gradually swapped my cups of tea um, for, for green tea and water. Um, and then I always started exercising at home. I run regularly into, um, Saturday morning, um, so we've got a great accountability between us um, to maintain that um, and this I really find is um, really good self-care time for me um, so we're young children um, under seven one seven one three um, and so that time on a Saturday morning is just for me and I really feel it's a benefit to my mental health um, and then Gemma, do you mind if okay. I just 
stop you there, darling, because I'm just conscious of the time. And Susan's okay. going to be joining us at um, half past eight. But you can always, almost, yeah, weave it, into, almost done anyway. <laughs> weave it into the next part, darling. Okay, okay, thank you for that. So we are going to be talking to you all this evening about what we're calling 21 Day Health Hack. Now, if you manage to look at what you're eating and also doing, you can see there it's about exercise, which Gemma touched on. But if you can look at your nutritional intake to make sure that it's having an impact on different areas of your life, what you'll notice is particularly as we age, you will actually be getting more optimal health because it's not just about looking at one aspect. And the great thing that I love about the way how we work and the way how we look at our nutrition, even though for myself, you saw in the earlier pictures, particularly after I had the baby and I put baby weight on, it isn't about how I look it's about how I feel on the inside now what's absolutely amazing is my energy goes through the roof and you know I do the coaching I work for an employer I have a small baby I look after my house I mean I'm house proud in the sense of I do my ironing I mean most of the mums that I meet they laugh at me when I talk about ironing but I do it all because I have this balance of looking at my nutrition and my well-being from what I describe as an holistic viewpoint. And on top of that, working on myself with personal development really helps me to get that mindset going as well. So Gemma, we all, I don't think we're going to have time to fit this in. Susie, are you here yet? Because you said you were joining us at quarter past eight. I don't know if Susie's on the line and I know she has to go at nine. Are you with us, Susie? Yep, can you see me? Oh, no, I can't see you, my darling, because I've put the, um, the presentation on. Right, so what I'm going to do, Gemma, is we're going to come back to the health hack so that Susie can start at half past eight because she does need to go at nine and then we'll pick that up there so I'm just going to skip forward um, oh I'm giving the slides away aren't I <laughs> let's end it there just one moment please let's put this nice slide up to introduce Susie can everybody see that yes yeah okay brilliant so please i would like you to give uh maybe you can't do um a massive round of applause but i would like you to um share a warm welcome this evening to our guest speaker susie wellstead emotional well-being coach absolutely phenomenal lady i've spent some time with susie i've done an interview with her which is um, available as an audio and I've written up a small article as well. Um, Susie I don't know if you're going to use slides tonight do I need to make you the host? Uh, no 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 because um, you know how I changed my um, I, I could have done it on my phone I've had to have a webcam so it's it's I'm trying to see myself. Okay, well let let let's let me stop the share. Oh, we have Dorothy with us as well. We've got some some of the old faces have come back to join us this evening. This is amazing. Um, so Susie, I've put you I've put the screen on so people can see you, but you are a little bit dark. Yeah, I know, because I um you know how the computer got sent away and it came back with a webcam so i've tried to put the webcam on but as you can see i'm i'm not i'm not um yeah you've got my voice as long as you yeah, can well, what i'll do i mean it's up to you if you if you push it down a little bit because at the moment if we're seeing you we can only see your the top of your head I'm, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> well, welcome, Susie. Anyway, the floor is yours, my dear. Thank you so much. Okay, let me just see. You can't see nothing, can you? No, I can see the top of your head. You're probably just better to have the voice rather than... Yeah, okay, I'll put that slide up because otherwise it would be distracting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no okay. worries. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Can everybody um, see the slide? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, welcome, Susie. Thank you. Well, thank you uh, to you for having me on and uh, to talk about emotions and what I do. Um, as Vanessa just said, I'm uh, an emotional well-being coach. I'm also an author of You Are Enough. And I also um, have a radio station on my local radio, Leicester Community Radio, for um, giving awareness on mental health. Uh, and it's called Let's Talk. So I talk about a subject every week um, that's coming up. I, to be honest, I don't talk about COVID or the virus, as I'm a huge believer that stress, anxiety was here before and it'll always be here. So um, for me, um, I'm really passionate about people and emotions. So um, I know when I spoke to you, Vanessa, you said that, um, did you say you didn't, didn't hear about emotional wellbeing coach or emotional acceptance, the tool that I, yeah i'd never heard about emotional acceptance before yeah so this is brilliant so if nobody has heard of it it's really really important and and, and it's great for now so i'm just going to talk a little bit about it and then i'm going to give you a taster because um i'm a big believer that we have to show people the way forward um so yeah um if we think about it we, we are not our thoughts, we're not our emotions, yet we believe that we are because of the stories we hold and the memories that we hold in our heads. And um, the beauty about emotional acceptance is that um, it's, a, it's a really, it's, it's the organic way of allowing your emotions just to be. I was listening to a doctor uh, not so long ago and they were saying how fascinating it is that when the emotion hits your body, it's gone within 90 seconds, yet it's how we hold on to it in our body, which keeps us in that mindset, which keeps us in that pain of suffering. And, and you know, emotions, they're all here to give us something, can't they? The good, the bad. And it's all about experience. It's all about what we believe. Um, now, I don't know whether you just want to think to yourselves at the minute, um, how are you feeling? You know, let's, ju let's just get this out quickly and um, give you a taster because I think it's really important that you do have a taster. Um, so how are we feeling? Because at the minute, I guess a lot of people still feel stressed. They feel anxious and they feel like fear we, we live in a very fear society you know where we we have thoughts of fear um i mean anxiety is huge and so is stress mm -hmm. so if you can pinpoint or even if you want to write down what what you're feeling in this moment um we can go through the process so does um anybody want to share how they are feeling how are you feeling today, Vanessa? Um, I was feeling nervous at the first part of my day. Well, a little bit of anxiety in the sense of uh, just something that I was doing with my main employment. And then I was feeling nervous about, obviously, the relaunch of this session and it's online and would anybody come? You know, I've been doing quite a lot of marketing, but you don't know if anybody's actually going to actually click <laughs> yeah. so I would I'm going to use the word anxiety because of the yeah. fact that it isn't something new for me but it's a new format I think anxiety is fantastic Vanessa because we all know what it's like we all have that feeling and um, it's a good one to work with so it, it doesn't matter whether whoever's listening if they're feeling positive if they're feeling negative um, 
let's stick with that feeling. So when I go through this process, a lot of people think, oh, meditation, but it's not. It's a workout for your emotions. We have a workout for the physical stuff and go to the gym, yet we really could do with a workout with our emotions. So this is very, it's a really good way of dealing with your emotions. Now, you might think at the beginning, and it is like meditation, but it's just an exercise I'm gonna take you through and um who's that in this moment i feel good but have gone through a range of okay okay that's great um it doesn't matter whether you're feeling good or whether you're feeling um anxious because any any emotion that you're feeling right now it's for you to feel it right now in this moment because all my work is about being mindful of the moment it's really important that we stick to being mindful um so when we start the process when i start the process i normally get people to let me know how they're feeling so i'm going to stick with anxiety stress um anybody could be feeling sad could be feeling happy just go with the number one emotion that's coming up for you right now and yet know that it's quite normal you know life is an uh, um, an experience it's an emotional experience that we all feel and we sometimes run away from what we feel because we've not been taught how to express it properly and um it's important to let you know that whatever you feel it's never bad so um yeah overwhelms come up yeah overwhelm is huge um so okay so i'm gonna get you just to be in this moment and uh, take a deep breath in right down to your belly so if we can do that breathe right down to your belly and release and take a nice deep breath in right down to your belly because we have this habit of breathing in our chest and when we breathe in our chest we're thinking quickly and we're thinking all this anxiety so all your thoughts will get clammed up and you start building up on this anxiety so breathe right down to your belly it's very important you breathe down to your belly and release that inhale exhale now for anybody feeling whatever they're feeling whether it's overwhelm whether it is anxiety allow yourself to feel that in this moment and when I tell you to feel that in this moment, I just want you to go to the part of your body that you're feeling this. So when I talk about overwhelm or stress or anxiety, where does it come up for you? Is it coming up for you in your heart, in your head? Is it in your stomach? Is it on your shoulders? So wherever it is, focus on that part of your body. So if you can draw your attention to that part of your body and allow yourself just to be with that sensation. That's really up to you. I normally tell people to close their eyes, but you can do it with your eyes open. Because when I talk about closing your eyes, you're, you're focusing on how you're feeling internally within you. And I want you to focus on that sensation. Now, when I say it's an emotional workout, it means that we're focusing on the sensation. We're not thinking about the thoughts or the words that our mind wants us to interact with. It's all about feeling that sensation, allowing yourself just to be with that sensation. That means to just observe what your mind is doing and focus just on that sensation and your mind will want you to wander off and your body might want to switch off and just go to sleep because this is something you've never practiced before it's all normal so do not judge yourself just focus on that sensation And allow yourself 
to feel that sensation. Some, somebody listening in may not feel a sensation, but they might just feel a bit tense. So stick to where that is and, and, and feel that tense, that tension that you might be feeling in your body. And breathe through it. The whole point of this exercise is to keep drawing yourself to that sensation. Observe the mind with the words, the thoughts, and just keep bringing your attention to that sensation in your body. Whatever comes up for you, just be okay with it. It's not about criticizing, judging or comparing. Just allow yourself just to keep coming back to that sensation. You're doing great. Stay with the sensation. It all, it just wants your attention because you've not been paying attention to that part of you. It just wants your attention. And at any time, if you find it getting intense, because it can do, depending on how, how it feels in your body, keep breathing and breathe right down to your belly and allow your breath to um, guide you through it. And just go to that sensation in your body. It just wants your attention. Your mind will want you to wander but just stay in one place. Allow yourself just to feel that sensation. Just focus on the sensation in your body and breathe.
at any time the sensation might get bigger it might feel intense it might feel stronger could be because you've not done this before it it gets stronger and then dips down again just, it just depends how you're holding it in your body but just allow it to be what it is and keep focusing on that sensation Doing great. Just wants your attention, that's all it wants. Just take a nice deep breath in and I want you to give yourself thanks for trying this emotional acceptance out for yourselves. Give thanks to yourself, your heart for showing up for you. Um, and I can really, really appreciate that um, we've only had about a 15 minute taster if that because I double book myself <laughs> and uh, I just want to answer any questions or anything anybody wants to say so if you want to ask anything or just share how you feel do hi, let me... hi I just want to say um, that I had like um, a tense feeling in my tummy that I've, I've had for um, a while actually, on and off, and I felt that feeling be released with the breathing. Brilliant. Um, and I do do some deep breathing with my children um, at bedtime with a meditation children's story on, on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and I do really find the deep breathing helps. Um, yes. And yeah, that, that feeling, I feel it's been released and my tummy feels less tense, so thank you. Oh, that's, you're very welcome, Gemma, and that's great. I mean, I would say, if you've never heard of the box breathing, try that for you and your kids, because it's fantastic. And that just, it's like being mindful and breathing in for four, hold for four, oh, release for four, yeah. and hold yeah. for four. It's one of the best ones I've done with post-traumatic stress uh, disorder and... Any, yeah, they, any kind of they did talk yeah. us through that i did some training with tony robbins yes right and they did talk us through that <laughs> yes yeah it's it's breathing is fantastic it's one of the best things that i can i'm always encouraging my clients to do that too because it's something that we've got but we kind of we, we never seem to appreciate taking that deep breath right down to your stomach it's so important that we do that it really is thank you so much for sharing Gemma. Does anybody else want to share or say anything? Hi there, Susie. Thank you so much. That was lovely. Let me take my thing off. Hi. Hello. Hi there, Susie. Hi. That was lovely. And, and it's, it's good to have the reminders, isn't it? That yes. Motions. I didn't realise about... Did you say 90 seconds? Yeah, 90 seconds. I know that bit. Yeah into them can't we and yeah. then are them yeah knowing on that practical level that you've just shared from a doctor yeah. it might not be a, you know but yeah that's really good to know that because it puts it into the bite size for me elements that 
okay, this isn't calm, this isn't go, this isn't me, I've experienced it, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, remember it's just a part of you, it's not the whole of you. And we, we sometimes, because of the memories and the stories, we hold on to them, we cling on to them as if, you know, and then don't forget to be kind and compassionate with yourself because we forget about being kind to ourselves. We seem to do it with everybody else, but please never forget yourselves. You know, you're going through so much at the minute. Only you guys know what you're going through. So just be okay with what you're feeling and know that it will pass, but just accept it for what it is. And that acknowledging, accepting, that sometimes is a huge lift, you know, can give you a great relief. That's great. So thank you for that. I'm you're very welcome. welcome. Hi Susie, um, do you have any tips with managing negative emotions at all? Um, I think if you if you think about uh, negative, I mean, um, you'd go through the same process. Because if you think about stress, if you think about anxiety, it's always brought on by something negative uh, most of the time. So anxiety is one of these things that we didn't realise it was anxiety when it was young when we were younger so we built up on that anxiety at the minute i'm speaking to a lot of people who who are feeling fear and it's it, and it's like an emotion that they created when they were a child for instance but it doesn't work now as an adult but they didn't realize that until now so these negative feelings that you feel anger whatever it is it will show up in your body it will show up you could just say if you're feeling really angry where do you feel it in your body and then sit with that and i know it takes a lot of um courage it takes a lot of strength to do that especially the emotions that we don't like but this is fantastic for negative emotions okay thank you it's you're welcome Do we have any more questions for Susie at all? Karine has left a comment in the comment box, Susie. Yeah, I'm just uh, reading it. I can see that. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh, brilliant, Stephanie as well. Do you mind reading them out? Because I, I've got the presentation view on, so I can't see the chat box. <laughs> uh, so Stephanie, I feel like the tightness in my chest has been released. Thank you. Um, oh, uh, fantastic, Steph. Um, Steph was, I felt good already, a warm glow in my tummy, but it was nice to take the time to sit with that. If this had been last week, it would have been a different story. I could see how it would be useful. And so I need to remember to breathe next time. I feel a changing emotion and allow it to be experienced so it can pass. Thank you. And, and you're so welcome, you know, and it's so true that these emotions that we feel, we need to allow them to just pass with uh, pass through our bodies naturally, but what we do is hold on to them or suppress them with drink, smoke, addictions, food. It's easy done. So, um, <laughs> but you know, Vanessa, I can only apologise for oh, double <coughs> myself. So, well, no, don't worry. I mean, we're on schedule now. Um, yes. If there aren't any more questions for you, Susie, then you know, I just want to, uh, to say with my deep deepest gratitude thank you so much for um agreeing mm. to share your uh, thoughts and your tips and this emotional acceptance tool with us because now you've you've kick-started the series for That's myself great. and you know i have some ladies on the line who were actually present at the live events that i was running yeah, uh, so they know that I have a range of guest speakers that come forward. So thank you so much for kickstarting the series. And I do hope that you'll be able to join me um, on the other events as I go through. Um, Most definitely, Vanessa. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll definitely keep in contact. And I've got plans for the future, which I'm sure, um, hopefully, if you've got space in your diary, that I'm sure you'll be able to contribute to as well. So let's yeah. keep in contact. 
and do let anybody that's listening if they did benefit or they do want to taste her get in touch with me you know and i will give gift aid a session to you um just for tuning in today and uh, showing up for yourselves because it is it is you know it is great to know that you're showing up for you and it's great for you also to take this tool so that you can use it every day if we could use more stuff like this every day, we'd feel so much better, regardless of what's going on in the world. We would. And we spoke about how people could get in contact with you last time. Um, and we did we say it's LinkedIn is your preferred? Yeah, um, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm also on Facebook. I do have a group on Facebook as well. And um, you just want to tell people the name of your group, Susie. Yeah, the, 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 the the name of the group is Susie Sunshine, but it's got a lantern or a lamp because I know people have been saying, oh, there's quite a few Susie Sunshines. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's, um, that's a Facebook group. I also have my Believe to Achieve business page on Facebook as well. I've got LinkedIn, if anybody's interested in LinkedIn, Instagram. But like I said, I've also got my book, which I think you'd already shared the link. Oh, that. yeah. So what I'll yeah. do, Susie, because this is going to be recorded, when mm. I post it up, I will put links to your radio podcast and also to the link to the, the book that you've written. Yes. And then I will put it into my email as well mm. as the follow up. So anybody who couldn't make this evening session but listens to the recording, they'll have links um to your pages as well so i'll do that as part of the show notes thank you so much vanessa all right uh, then thank you so much Susan. You're so you've got another call to attend to yeah. so you're a busy lady in demand yes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for you're spending so time with us you're so welcome stay safe everybody take care all bye. right take care bye 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 okay then so i'm going to move on and things have gone a little bit i had to change the program a little bit we are going to take a five minute break just in case you need uh to grab a drink or anything like that if you have kahoot on your phone already or if you can quickly download the app or you're on your laptop and you can quickly get to that screen please could you have that prepared uh, we won't do the quiz straight away because Gemma is going to share some information with you after the break and the quiz is based on the information. So I'm just putting it up on the screen just so it gives you an opportunity to get prepared. So that is the details there. We're going to go for a five minute break. So if you don't mind, we will be connecting back here at six minutes past nine and I'll see you shortly. Okay, so welcome back to part two. Um, we are going to continue where we left off. Unfortunately, we did overrun at the beginning. <laughs> so we didn't do very well, Gemma, because we, we overran. So let's try and get this part out. So just a reminder, we're talking to you about the health hacks. And we're starting with protein and my colleague Gemma is going to be giving you some interesting information about protein. So over to you, Gemma. Oh. Oh, wait. Does, can you see the screen? No. No, I was going to say, I, I realised that you could have <laughs> one minute <laughs> because it looked, it didn't look how it should look. <laughs> One minute. Um, I'll start. Yeah, you make it start, my dear. So, so um, protein is an essential component of every cell in the body, including our immune cells. So, it's, I think the past um, year has really um, helped people to focus on their immune systems. 
Um, and did you know 30% of our daily calories should come from protein? Uh, protein's a macronutrient, meaning the body needs relatively large amounts of it. Um, it's composed of 22 amino acids and it's stored in our muscles and our organs. Um, and we have animal based protein and also plant based protein. So, no matter what your dietary requirements, um, whether vegan or vegetarian, um, you can always find um, protein sources. Um, and protein is so important, it does so many jobs bodies. Um, it produces enzymes and hormones, it builds, repairs um, our tissues and our organs, it helps support our immune function, um, it helps control our hunger and keeps us full between meals as well, which is why um, we encourage it to be in all, um, your meals and your snacks. Um, it improves our body composition and boosts muscle mass. Um, it can improve your mood, which is really important. Um, it helps maintain strong bones. It also stabilizes our blood sugar levels, um, protects our heart health, and it can slow aging and promote long longevity also. So it does so many different things in our body. It's really vital that we have enough protein in our nutrition. Um, and the amount of protein you need daily is calculated on your weight and on your level of physical activity. So it's re recommended to have between 15 to 25 grams of protein per snack or meal. Um, and I do have a link to a protein calculator um, if anybody would um, like to see how much protein you need in, in your own um, diet. Um, and you can message me or Vanessa for that. And as part of a healthy active lifestyle, we recommend having three meals and two snacks um, a day, which all include sources of protein. So um, ideally you should be eating around every four hours. Um, and there are eight main protein sources, which are um, soy protein, um, egg whites, uh, milk protein, beef protein, chicken protein, uh, chickpeas, which is really good if you are, are vegan or vegetarian, um, other pulses and peanuts. Um, and now when I do my shopping, um, I always uh, check the labels to see how much protein a portion contains. Um, and when I choose my snacks, I, I look at the protein content and ideally I, I like to have um, at at least between seven and ten grams of protein in my snack and um, me myself I'm dairy free um, so I look for snacks that um, are dairy free but still have enough protein in them and um, let if any of you would like further information on a more detailed list of food that contains protein then you can get that information from myself or Vanessa um, so I hope this has been informative and I have a question for you. Um, what did you have for breakfast today and do you think it contained protein? Mm. Anybody like to answer? Uh, well, I had toast, toast and marmalade, but I don't think it... Oh, yummy. Protein. <laughs> Uh, maybe not too much protein in there, but um, no. but then that's a good thing to think about um, for your breakfast in the future. Mm -hmm. um, I used to eat a lot of um, sugary cereals and, and breakfast, but then I, I've made it more protein based now. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else want to tell us about their breakfast this morning? I had a smoothie that I made myself. This one had um, red cabbage and pineapple in it, but I always put a portion of um, nuts or seeds in there. So there's normally 30 grams of nuts or seeds, Ooh. peanut butter, <laughs> along with some other things like yeah, oats and honey. That. I like the chaya uh, seeds. 
Chia seeds are good for protein and um, fiber as well. Okay, well, thank you for that, Gemma. We've done the break and we've spoken with, uh, we've listened rather to Susie. So, what I'm going to do now, I hope this is going to work because it's a little bit of fun. Um, I'm going to have to share my screen again. So, we're going to play the quiz now. Um, hopefully, you've been able to either download it if you can onto your phone if not if you're watching us from your screen can everybody see the screen yes yeah okay so i'm going to adjust the volume because this music's really important oh and i hope you can hear it can you hear that no oh no. dear all right forget the music but i'm gonna is everybody got this are you gonna play I hope I'm not playing on my own. I have put it on, but I'm not sure quite how to use it. Okay, so if you've put it on, it should ask you. All oh, right, so Gemma's there and Cozzy's there. So they've obviously put their pin number in there. So you put the pin number in, it's going to ask you for a guest. Ah, oh, Steph's there. And okay. welcome, Steph. Great to have you on the call with us. Uh, anybody else playing? Because I'm going to make a start. It'd be nice if there was at least four or five of you. Can we get another person on? No? All right, let's see. Let's see how these three ladies get on them with this quiz that I've put together. So it's telling us that we're going to get started. So here we go. Uh, you have got seven, six, 15 seconds to answer this question. I can't see a question. Oh, the question is, uh, self-awareness, can it boost your mood? I haven't, oh. Oh, I only had two shapes on mine. Yeah, because it was a, tr it was a true or false question. Oh. <laughs> so if you look at the top, you see, you're going to see uh -huh. what type of question it is. Okay, never mind. Let's see how we get on <laughs> in the next round. <laughs> So, Cos is in the lead at the moment. Okay, so let's have the next question. So, you've got four choices on here. So, that's how many grams of protein should you aim to eat when you have a snack? Gemma's just told you. Um, I'm Okay, and the answer to that was at least 10 to 15 grams per snack. See, mine didn't say any answers, it just showed me different shapes, so I don't know what the answers were on the shapes. Oh! I'm just that's why I don't know what I'm pressing. Oh no! Can the other ladies... It, it corresponds to the screen, um, the screen on Zoom stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's what happens. Oh, right. yes, I yeah. see what they're doing. So they're looking at my screen uh, and then they're yeah. pressing the shape. That's right. why I'm getting really confused. <laughs> okay, well, we've got two more questions. So let's get some points in, Steph. All right, here we go. And I should have explained it properly. So I do apologize. It's the first time I'm right. doing this. <laughs> All right. So you've got four choices here, and it's how many grams of protein? Should women eat daily? Oh, that was a quick round. Oh, she's in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> so Karina has got a streak. She's got three correct answers in a row. Brilliant. Steph's playing the game now and she's got some points. So well done, Steph. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and finally. Which of these food items is a source of protein? Okay, so you could have gone for either peanuts or chickpeas on there. And let's have a look at the score. Well done, Steph. <laughs> well done, Gemma. And the winner is... Cassie! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> that was just a bit of 
god. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just to lighten up the evening. <laughs> just a bit of fun there. Oh, well, and actually you have won the prize, my dear. You have won a, bro a box of protein bars. <laughs> now, with you yes. not being local to me, this poses a problem now because now we've got to think about delivery and all the rest of it. But you have won a box of protein bars. Uh, I just need to check, are you a vegetarian at all? No, okay, so you're fine. So um, let's make sure we have a chat because there's three different flavours. Oh, you're still working in Nottingham, so I can do a local delivery. That is fantastic. Um, there's three different flavours that you can choose from. There's lemon, almond, or peanut. So even, oh, peanut, she's straight on it. Wow. <laughs> and in fact, she would have sampled the protein bars before Karina so you know exactly how yes. delicious they are so fantastic I will get those organized when I do my next yeah peanut was your favorite when I do my next delivery and I will drop it off in your workplace so well done my darling so yes ladies I want you to keep coming back to this health and well-being cafe we're not together in person but I'm going to do my best to give you the information in terms of our health and our well-being and also have a bit of fun. So expect more of those quizzes as we move forward. All right. So back to the presentation. We are nearly finished. Just got a little bit of information to share with you now. Um, and I do need to share my screen. Okay, okay, so where have I gone now in the thing? Slide show. Oh, we did this this afternoon. It's not going back into the slideshow format. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yeah, okay, so it's not going back into the slideshow format so i'm just going to stop the share basically what i want to tell you is about our formula one product okay so we spoke to you about breakfast before and the formula one is a great way to replace your breakfast let me just try and sh share the screen again if it doesn't come up in the format that i want um actually bear with me sorry i know how i could do it let me put it on that first. Do you know what? I think it's actually the presentation files messing up. Okay. So apologies, you're going to see that at the side, but can you see the this, this screen okay? Yes. Okay. So yeah, we're talking about um, Herbalife first product that they brought to the market which is a healthy meal it's a meal replacement um herbalife as a company has been around for 40 years now so you know it's not a surprise that we can make this it's not just a statement or a marketing claim but it we are the number one uh, meal replacement shake in the world and there are the stats on you know what you're looking at we've been speaking to you about protein so we are actually picking up 18 grams of protein per serving when we have a shake now what i didn't get a chance to put on the screen is we actually now have our first savory formula one which means that i can also have a warm soup and it is a it's a it's not just the fact that it's a meal replacement because you could say well i can have a soup as well well that's great but i'm having a soup which is giving me high protein and also high fiber. So with our Formula One range, we've got different flavors, but we also now have our first savory flavor as well. And as I said to you before, it's not a live event, so I can't sample these things. But if you came to the last sessions, then you would have been able to have those samples. And if you are vegan or gluten-free, we've got that covered. All of the uh, shakes are now 
Um, they've been enhanced to satisfy the vegan market. So all of our flavors are actually vegan. So it's interesting that we have Karina on the call with us because uh, you were a lady who did get started some time ago. Uh, but um, obviously we have lost connection, but we do have Steph on the line with us. You're one of our VIPs. And uh, thanks for coming on, Steph. Um, if you weren't able to see the first part of the recording, then you can watch, uh, sorry, the first part of the live session, you can watch the recording. But the point I'm making here is we start everybody off on our six day breakfast club. Um, and the breakfast club, sorry, uh, it's just got a little bit noisy in here. <laughs> this is family life working from home, ladies. So, um, yeah, we start everybody in a six day breakfast club. You can see from uh, the pictures there, it's a little trial pack that goes out for you to just have a little sample with us. And the six day breakfast club happens in WhatsApp. You get nutrition education and you get some fun as well. So it's not just about you um, just having your shake and experiencing it in isolation. You are surrounded by other people that are on that journey. And we have some fun in the WhatsApp um, community. So if this is something that appeals to you, you can get started. It costs you under £10 to try a delicious meal replacement. There's two flavours in the pack, which is vanilla and cookies and cream, and also a sachet of our herbal tea, which is a fantastic energy boost for the uh, start of your day. You can get started with us for less than £10. So if this is something that appeals to you, then please contact the wellness coach that's invited you onto the call this evening. So, please save the date. The next session is Thursday the 17th of December at 8 o'clock. Um, obviously, it's going to be the same format that we've had this evening, but we'll be talking about different topics in terms of personal development. We'll be talking you through another aspect of the health hacks. So I haven't decided which one yet. I might put a little quiz out and uh, get some feedback from those of you that are on my mailing list uh, to find out which um, health hack you would be interested in exploring with me on the next call. Um, I didn't put my contact details on this slide, but if you're not on the mailing list and you're watching the recording and you, you're wanting to get on that mailing list, then please send me an email. Uh, my email address is contact at vanessaaugustus.com. And Gemma, how would people get in contact with you if they're watching the recording and they're not on your mailing list? Um, I'm on Facebook, Gemma Ballum, or my email address is gfrench at 13, eight, sorry, gfrench1318 at yahoo.co.uk. Okay, brilliant. So I'll put those details in my, um, underneath the link as well, Gemma, just in case some of your contacts are watching the recording. So that is it. It's been fantastic. And look, some of you may recognise yourself in this picture. So Dorothy, <laughs> and, you know, I was so surprised to see you on the yes. uh, call because <laughs> I chose this, uh, this picture quite it. late in the day. But, you know, as we've explained at the beginning of the call, we were forming a lovely community of like-minded women. It was mainly women, but men are not excluded from our cafe um, um, gathering. And uh, yeah, it was great to actually spend time with each other. And we did lose that um, after I took the time out for my maternity. And then, yes, I intended to come back. And then this is where we are in the world. So I'm doing the best that I can with us being in an online forum. So I'm going to stop the share now and I'm going to switch the recording off. And it's just open networking. We can, spe we can spend another five, ten minutes on the call together if you've got any questions or if you just wanted to share some thoughts like i said the recording will be off so um it will be a private time for us to just have a, a natter as women okay <laughs>